I'm Anil Kumar and here is solution to a question asked by my subscriber on YouTube. Question 7 page 376 advanced functions written by Nelson. A tower that is 65 meter high makes an obtuse angle with the ground. The vertical distance from the top of the tower to the ground is 59 meters. What obtuse angle does the tower make with the ground to the nearest hundredth of a radian. While well, in this question we are given the length of the tower. Now sometimes confusing when we say the tower that is 65 meter high, right? So that is basically the length of the tower. I think that makes things difficult for you. It makes an obtuse angle. So let me just draw this tower first, right? So this is the tower which we are talking about and let us say this is 65 meter right so let's not say 65 meter high that really means length of the tower is 65 meter i hope that was the confusion and now it's clear the vertical distance from top of the tower to the ground is 59 so this is the vertical distance we're talking about that should make 90 degrees with the ground right so this is 59 meters and now the question is what obtuse angle does the tower make over the ground? Obtuse angle is this angle which we are talking about, right? Let's call this angle as theta. Now, to find theta, we should find the acute angle first. Let me call that as alpha, right? Trigonometric ratio, which is dealing with opposite and hypotenuse, that is sine, right? So we know sine of alpha is equals to opposite side over hypotenuse. In this case, opposite side is 59, so it is 59 over 65 is the hypotenuse. So from here you can find alpha, which is sine inverse of 59 over 65, correct? You should set your calculator to radians. That is very important. So let us set it to, it is for my calculators in radians. We'll do second shift. That means sine inverse. 59 divided by 65 bracket close equals to 1.1377. So that gives me 1.13, I mean 1.1377. So that is the value in radians. Even if you don't write radians, it is radians because radians basically is a ratio. It does not have a unit. So we just call it radians as a unit. Now, so that is alpha. So what is the obtuse angle? So the answer required is obtuse angle, which in our case is theta. That should be equals to pi minus alpha. That is you could use 3.14 since nearest hundredth is required but we will use the exact value of pi whatever we get from the calculator right so it depends on the accuracy of your calculator then you can round that answer to two decimal places right so we'll use you will do take away pi from here which gives us 2.0038 so i did the reverse so therefore you could see minus but it is 2.003 something, right? So that is what the angle is, which you round to two decimal places. So you can write this theta as approximately equals to 2.00. So that is your answer. I hope you understand and appreciate all the steps involved in such questions. So the basic idea is try to sketch first and then get your answer. Thank you and all the best.